Hi everyone, Leslie from Discovery Fabrics and today we're going to introduce a brand new fabric to us called Hypercool. And Hypercool is probably a fabric that you have never heard of. Um, we certainly hadn't heard of it until this year. And what it is, is a very special, um, absorbent, unique fabric that slowly releases water through evaporation when it's soaked. And it protects the wearer against heat stress. Um, it's really a unique um, chemistry to achieve this rapid absorption and stable water storage. Um, this formulation also creates an enhanced evaporation, so you're going to get um, cooler for longer. But let's just explain the technology and how it works to you. Firstly, this is an insulation layer and must be lined with a waterproof layer on one side and a breathable layer on the other side. And the reason for that is when you make a garment, you're going to want to stay dry, obviously. So I'm showing you here, this is this blue fabric has hypercool inside of it. You, you'll see it's three layers. And this is not a fabric that we sell. This is actually a fabric that the, the hypercool company manufactures for their own garments. But I wanna show you what's important about what they're doing here. This waterproof layer is what would go against your skin. So this is your liner. Here's your hypercool that you're gonna soak in water to get wet and start getting cold. And this layer, which is the outside, is going to allow the water to get to the hypercool. And it's also, once it's um, squeezed out, you take out the excess water, it's going to allow the air to get to the hypercool, which is going to give you the evaporative cooling. And as I've explained in some of my other evaporative cooling videos, it's the evaporation of the vapor as it's going into the air that creates the cooling effect. That's natural evaporative cooling. So how it works is you do make a garment. Here's an example of a Menta bucket hat that I've made. And the outside is a breathable stretch woven it's got hypercool inside it, and the inside is a basically a water repellent stretch woven. Um, I'm going to show you just a couple of alternatives to that in a moment. Um, but what we did, we wet this hat just like this. We put it in water. You want to put the hypercool in the water, or the hypercool garment in this case, whether it's a vest or whatever, in the water, and gently squeeze out the excess and then give it a couple of minutes and it will start to get cold. So I have a temperature gun here and I'm gonna show you the dry hypercool. Your surface temperature is 24 degrees centigrade. Okay, we're in an air conditioned shop, so it was 24 degrees centigrade and this has been wet. Your surface temperature is 18.5 degrees so it's 18.5 degrees centigrade, which is feeling nice and cool, but if you were outside in the sun, it would be substantially cooler than that. So what can you make and why would you make a cooling garment? You can make hats as we've done. You could make just a liner, a round liner and put it inside a hard hat. You could make a cooling vest and use the waterproof fabric for the liner and then something breathable on the outside. Um, why would you do that for somebody, for example, with a medical condition that had trouble regulating their body temperature, somebody with MS, for example, um, for construction workers, for athletes. Right now, the Tokyo Olympics are on and many of the athletes are wearing these hypercool cooling vests between events to regulate their body temperature. Um, the military uses it and it's used a fair amount in the medical trade. So animals, people, really anybody you know that has um, difficulty in heat would benefit from having something made with Hypercool. Now, I did wanna show you two fabrics that we have here at Discovery Fabrics that we would recommend for the waterproof liner. One is called Aerospace Tech, and it's basically a polyester that's uh, very water repellent, and it is um, very stable, no stretch to this. And the second one is called Mist, and this is a nylon, but again, very water repellent. So you can use many fabrics that are water repellent for the inside. We could use Neoshell, for example, but it's actually kind of noisy, so that's why we would chose, choose this. And of course, any of our um, wicking stretch wovens would be great for the outside, but you could also use some denim or some cotton or anything for the outside that you happen to have around your sewing room. So I hope that explains our new Hypercool 
And if you have any questions, please ask on our Facebook group, So Inspired by Discovery Fabrics. Thanks for watching.